Many of you might have an old router at home and may want to use it as a range extender and this video is just for you. I recently bought an Archer C50 and wanted to use my 7 year old router for the same purpose but it didn't have the range extension function built in so I had to go the WDS way. Let's get started. First of all, factory reset your router and make sure it is on the latest firmware. Also. It would be better that your router is connected to your PC via LAN because you are gonna change a lot of settings. Also, both the routers I am using are of TP-Link but the process remains the same. Modify the LAN IP address of the router. Let's say that your master router has IP address 192.168.0.1. Go to network, then LAN settings and change the IP address to be in the same subnet as your master router like 192.168.0.100 Change the start IP address to 192.168.0.101 and end IP address to 192.168.0.199 Save and reboot now you need to choose a fixed channel for your Wi-Fi access point so that the master and slave router have the same Wi-Fi channel. If you have a lot of other routers in your range, then download this Wi-Fi analyzer app which is free by the way, which will help you select a channel which is least crowded for less interference and thus better speed. Select this channel in your master router settings. Here. I have selected the channel 3 as it was the least crowded in my area. Now again go to your slave routers wireless settings and then enable WDS. Click scan and select the master routers access point. Enter the encryption and key type. If you don't know these then check your master routers wireless security settings and then click save. Then go to the DHCP settings or network settings and then LAN settings and disable the DHCP server. You need the master router to assign IP address to the devices connected to the slave router as well. Thus, DHCP server should be disabled. Again, save and reboot. And now you have two options. Whether you want to have the slave router to have its own Wi-Fi access point or if you want to have it extending the master router signal. I wanted it to extend the master router. So I changed the Wi-Fi name or SSID to the same as the master router in the wireless settings and also changed the password to be the same as the master router. But if you want the slave router having its own Wi-Fi, then you don't need to do this step. Congrats. You just repurposed your old router to be useful again. Ask your questions and queries in the comment section and subscribe.